A Palm Desert neighborhood on edge tonight after a woman's body was found in a home yesterday. The Sheriff's Department now treating this as a homicide, the second one in less than a month in the Palm Desert Country Club. News Channel 3's Jennifer Franco live in the area with up to the minute details on this. Jennifer, that is concerning. Good evening, John. Residents in this neighborhood are eager for answers from authorities as this ongoing investigation continues. I'm standing on the street where this gruesome crime happened, and a lot of the residents that I spoke with today said that while they're scared, they still want action to be taken. I feel less safe today. Alice McCormick McLean says she is concerned for her safety after a woman was murdered a few blocks away from her home this week. It also rattled some of her neighbors. When I saw where it was located, I immediately went over and checked on Alice to make sure she was okay. Riverside County investigators were called to a home on the 77,000 block of Michigan Drive just before 1 p.m. on Tuesday. They say a woman was found dead inside a home with trauma to her body consistent with a homicide. The victim's identity has not yet been released. Long-term residents in the area say crime has gone up. Like when I first moved in in 1995-96, there was nothing. Now her house has a security system and cameras. She thinks changes in the area have partly led to an uptick in crime. From that point in time that a lot of these homes became rentals rather than ownership. Now, some residents say they are constantly checking in with each other. Letting each other know where we're at. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, are you doing okay? This investigation comes just a few weeks after a man was shot and killed near Tennessee Avenue and Oklahoma Avenue. Deputies have not released any information regarding any arrest in that case. But this latest case has residents even more on edge. It's very frightening, very, very frightening. Um, we were already alerted to all the robberies that have been taking place, and a robbery is one thing, but then when you hear somebody was actually murdered, it's kind of really frightening. She says while police have stepped up patrols in her neighborhood. But we still don't have enough. Yeah, so the Riverside County Sheriff's Department has yet to reach back out to me in response to my request for comment, but they are urging any members of the community who might have seen something or heard something to reach out to them. And of course, you can find out how to do that by going on our website, KESQ.com. Reporting live in Palm Desert, I'm Jennifer Franco, News Channel 3.